So this happened at the, well, it all began at the start of this academic year before all of this, um, what happened with Sarah Everard and what's going on currently with everyone's well, everyone's invited. Mm-hmm. Um, we were told that we were not allowed to wear leggings to play sports as girls. And there was a bit of confusion about why there was no, we weren't told the reason why. And lots of people were, there were rumours going around about what the reason was. And it was the classic, oh, it's because of male teachers. Um, It's because of how they think it makes girls look. And they think it's because it's tight clothing, it's inappropriate. And I initially thought, oh, this just must be rumours. It can't actually be the real reason. Um, But I took it upon myself to go to our head of pastoral care, um, and when I asked them, oh, we've heard these rooms that we're not allowed to wear leggings, they looked me in the face and said, leggings leave nothing to the imagination and make male teachers feel uncomfortable. I mean, um, yeah. That <laughs> so, male teachers feel uncomfortable yeah. when there are minors, yeah. young women, um, yeah. wearing presumably sport leggings um, to play sport. Yeah. Yeah. The issue this year is because of coronavirus, we can't get changed at school in changing rooms. So we go into school with our leggings on. on, I see. Um, They explain to us that it's fine during the afternoon when we'd be doing PE, but during the day, it's not appropriate. Um, And one of my other friends asked why, what changes at half past one in the afternoon that makes it appropriate for us to wear leggings and not during the day and they ended up backtracking when we started having these meetings why is the onus on you the girls and not on the male teachers i know i know um and i did also want to mention i won't say her name but um i'm so incredibly thankful and really proud of her um before this necessarily happened me going to the um teacher um this girl in my form she was also outraged at the fact that we couldn't wear leggings and she decided to contact as many people as she could, current pupils and ex-pupils, um, to tell her um, anomalously most of the time um, accounts of what they had experienced at school. And she made a 15-page document of accounts of basically sexual harassment from other students, but mainly teachers. Um, teachers? And she printed it out teachers? and she gave it. Yeah. What sort Not, of sexual harassment in, from teachers? Inappropriate comments about the way that we look, depending on um, what we were wearing. So if that's about how short your skirt is, they wouldn't just say, oh, your skirt is too short. They would say one of the most shocking ones I've heard. I don't know. It's There are rumours, but it's, it's so specific um, saying, oh, will I be seeing you on and then naming the road? And then saying, because of how short your skirt is, the road is our local red light district. And that was a teacher saying it to a student, suggesting that because of how short their skirt was. That's just totally, totally, totally inappropriate. Yeah. Um, But this document that she made um, really basically just, it was a really shocking thing and everyone was talking about it. But the school were more concerned about the I think we're more concerned about the reputation of the school than the fact that these accounts had been published. Um, and we, we, she had been told, you know, these are sackable offences that you've written in this document. And our response was, if they're sackable offences, then maybe those teachers should be investigated and sacked.